first talk about that touchdown pass, you know, the play that you made TD on, uh, just describe the play and how don't get that TD out of the way. Uh, it, was, it was a simple play, just a go route, and um, the show threw a perfect ball, and I was able to come up with the catch. Sharon, have you noticed, like especially in fourth quarter games, with the way you guys rotate so many receivers in, did secondaries wear down, you guys, the corners get tired with all those guys doing fresh legs? Yeah, I've noticed that. That's kind of uh, that's a good thing we got going because we're uh, so deep at receiver. The guys are able to just come in and roll and uh, <coughs> miss a beat, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a big advantage for us. Do you like that as a receiver that you're not tired in fourth quarter because you guys are rotating so much? Yes, I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm, I'm ever tired because even if I do, I come out, I come out one play and go back in. But our guys are um, they're ready. So like I said, we're deep. So it's, it keeps it keeps everybody fresh. We always got fresh legs, and it's it's really helpful for us for like the whole season. The deep Deshaun ball was a little bit too long. Uh, how how often does Deshaun over throw you? Say again? The, the deep ball down the right side. Uh-huh. That was a bit too long. I mean, oh. Um, uh, he doesn't overthrow often. It's just I may probably could have I could have dove for it maybe, but I wasn't sure at the time. It was a, one of those quick second decisions, but it's not it's not often at all. He's overthrow. I think I run a little faster next time. <laughs> Sharon, look at this game. Huge division game. National implications. But over the last like few years, it's been a huge game. It, what your feelings towards Florida State? Do you just not like them, or, you know, or is it just another game on the schedule? Uh, I don't have a problem with Florida State. Just another game on the schedule. I know last year was um, was a pretty close game. We uh, should have came up with the win, but but like uh, a lot of those guys on the team last year should, should come with that fire that they uh, had walking up that field last year, and it should definitely motivate us for, uh, for Saturday. You had three freshmen catch touchdown passes in Raleigh. What's it what's it kind of like for you being the elder statesman on a team that's got a I mean on a, at a position that's got a lot of really really young guys contributing? Well, I mean. Kind of the best thing on Saturday sometimes is not me succeeding. It's to, it's to see my my teammates succeeding. I get a I get a rush of seeing those guys make plays. I really love watching them. And like I said, I see them. I see them work every day, and I see them. I see them grow from where they were during the summertime. And it's just good to see. You played in 2011 when the last time Bucks beat Florida State. What do you remember about that game? Uh, it was a, it was a really good game. I remember. Um, I remember Sammy put the nail in the coffin with me. Uh, when they beat him on the slant goes, uh, and they, it, was, it was pretty loud in the stadium. It was a, it was a very good moment. I would love to have that moment again Saturday. Pretty sure you're the only guy in the team who was on the field that game. How motivated are you to get the rest of this team a win against Florida State? Oh, uh, very motivated. I feel like, uh, especially for the seniors, uh, some of the, some of them haven't beat Florida State. They, they were red shirt that year, but I feel like somebody beat beat Florida State. I feel like um, that's a that's the accomplishment that we should have walking off the field Saturday. Year. The past few games, it seems pretty obvious the team's been trying to get you involved in things pretty early right off the bat. Is that something that coaches have said to you before games or during the week, or is that just kind of how the game plan played out? I think it just plays out like that. But it's um, it's always good to to get to get going early, get that confidence going, and see where that put put that ball a little bit early, and uh, it it uh, it leads to more confidence later on in the game. You got pretty uh, famous with your downfield blocking on Vine and a few other things here lately that everybody's showing his plays from Miami and, and, and the previous games and your downfield block. What kind of example are you setting to the younger guys getting down there and putting those blocks out and showing them how to how to how to man all those guys downfield? I mean, hopefully they see that uh, our block is just important as the as the O line block because the O line is going to get them to that second level because of how good they're doing right now. And so when they get that second level, it's up to us to get them into the end zone. There's a culture of if you're good and you work hard, you're going to play no matter what year you are in the receiving core. But is that has it always been that case, or is that just kind of developed over the last few years? Say again? Like, it just seems like if you're a freshman or a senior, it doesn't matter. If you're good, you're going to play, you're going to rotate people in. Has it always been like that, or is that kind of developed some? I think since I've been here, it's always been like that. We just, um, most of the guys that come in, they're ready to play. Just just the type of type of attitude we right here and the culture and the, the culture here. So a lot of those young guys are always ready to play. If they're not if they're not able to start yet, they're gonna they're still gonna play and grow under under the other guys. How exciting for you for this to be your final year and especially being an extra fifth year and here we are coming down the home stretch and you guys are right in the middle of national championship talk and undefeated and right up there at the top of the rankings. It's been a, been a pretty special way to close out your career. It has been, but um, it's not over yet. We're just taking it one day at a time and coming, coming, 
and grinding every day because any any day it can be taken away from us. So we have to come out and grind every day. Fair. You've been doing a lot of little things really well that a lot of fans hadn't noticed in games. A big catch against Louisville that helped you all win that game. A big block against Georgia Tech. Big block against Miami. Um, but you you know hadn't been getting in the end zone and you know a lot of things have been unnoticed and. Uh, I think after one catch against Miami in the first half, you, you showed some emotion after that catch, and then you made another play uh, early in the game uh, at NC State uh, where you, you know, broke a big run after a catch. Um, was it frustrating at times for you not seeing the end zone since that App State game, and um, how much of a relief or vindication is it that you know, you're not starting to get the recognition that you deserve? No, it's not really frustrating. Just, I'm just happy with the win, honestly, because I know I can, uh, if I'm not making an uh, impact in the past game, I'm going to try to make an impact in some kind of way. What does Florida State do year in and year out that makes them so tough to beat? Um, I don't think Florida State does anything. I think it's all on us. We just beat ourselves sometimes. It's not. It's not the Florida State is doing. It's, it's all on us. We're going to win. We just can't be friends. Is there anything that stands out about their secondary or specifically their defense? Um, not, not really. It's the same as last year. I know. Um, I remember Ramsey last year, but he was more that that nickel back last year. Um, and I was playing a slot, so we kind of went up against each other that the whole game. So. That's the one I mainly remember, and I know um, Terrence Smith, I don't know if he's going to play or not. Those are mainly the two guys I remember, but I know they're, they're pretty good players. Look forward to, to the competition. What do you think of Ramsey? He's, he's a really good corner, really disciplined. Yeah, look, like I said, look forward to playing again. You've got a lot of former teammates playing in the NFL, receiver teammates playing in the NFL, but any thoughts on a guy you grew up with, Adam Humphreys? Have you had a, a chance to, to watch him in Tampa Bay at all on TV? And, and again, it's a guy you grew up with, and. I'm sure you kind of enjoy seeing a, an old friend be in the NFL. Yeah, I definitely love it. It's, just, um, it's actually weird playing with Adam because I've been, um, we've been on the same team since middle school, so it's weird being with Adam. And, um, it's just, it's great to see what he's doing now. And, um, he almost had a game winning catch in the, uh, in the game Sunday, but um, ball didn't get to him. But it's really good to see him and you know, getting everything he deserves. How much does going up against a guy like Mackenzie Alexander in practice help you prepare to play a guy like Jalen Ramsey? Uh, it's def it helps a lot. He's um, McKenzie is probably the best corner in college football, so I'm going to get the best every day. So what I see on Saturday is you know, nothing different. When you're going up against McKenzie in practice, does he give you guys as much smack as he gives the opponents on the oh, field? Oh, yeah, he definitely does. He probably gives us worse, but. <laughs>